Jake. I can see there's a design happening here. Oh, yes. It's a 2D design of this. Ah, so this inspiration came from the Wacky Racers, yes? Yes. The cartoon. Perhaps viewers can go to Shed Hacks and maybe there'll be some clips connected to that. Who knows? Or go to YouTube and um, look up Wacky Racers from the 60s. Yeah. So, what designs have you done so far, Jake? So, that's one design, which is of that car. Yes. And then this one's uh, a design of this car, yeah, but without the steering wheel. Oh, yeah. And then this one's a slightly different design that we haven't made. Brilliant. Okay. How interesting. And I can see... Is it full size? Have you put that ruler to it? Yes. Um... So that's 200 millimetres long. Well, this one's actually 180, 180 yes, but I've yes. labelled it 200. Oh dear. Well, perhaps it was 200 millimetres. So that piece of wood there, put that to the design that you... That's the design you did before you made it, I presume. Yeah. Oh, well, that's perfect. You've mm -hmm. done very well. And that is 200. Do yes. you want to measure that one? Just so the, uh, the viewers know how large it is. Yes, that's 200 dead on. Yeah. And 50 high. 50 millimetres high. Okay, so that gives us an idea. And how wide it is. So we didn't show us an end view. So that's it. So how wide is that piece of timber? That is, I think, about 50. Yeah, I think it's 50. Oh, it's 50, nearly 45. Okay. Yeah. So you're looking at a piece of timber which is 200 long and roughly 50 by 50. Yeah? Yeah. In square, the section that is okay. I like that design. Is that your better design? Yeah, have you got can you show the viewers your design for that one? It is this one, yeah. I do like that one, mm -hmm. and you've added on the steering wheel. I can see, yeah, great. So, see, these are the designs you did before you made it for them, mm -hmm. and we'll, um, we'll go through the various clips in a minute of how, how to put it together and make one. Any comments, Jake? Any extra comments? Any clues mm. as to how they, th the viewers can design things? Um, I don't think so. I mean, you can cut this design out and glue it onto a piece of wood because it is to scale. Oh, brilliant. Yes, and that would be a template. Yes. Oh. And have you been doing some drawing? Oh, uh, no. That's um, for my sister. Oh, Zelly. Oh, she's very clever, isn't she? Look at that. Yeah. Wow. That is amazing. Okay, then. We look forward to this one, Jake. When making one of these wacky races, what you'll need is a pair of scissors to cut out a template, a pencil, a mallet, a chisel, tri-square, block plane, a bit of sandpaper, glass paper, a block to go with that, a file, quick grip or any kind of clamp, a bench vice, not a bench vice, a um, bench hook, a coping saw and a tenon saw. And that's the sandpaper, was it there? Yes, or glass paper. Okay, and next Jake? So I've already cut out the template here, but this is the design. And it's 200 millimetres long by 50 high. And has, was that the, the only design? Or have you got um, yeah, we've got a few more oh, designs yeah. here. As you can see, that one's slightly different. I remember that. And that one's yeah. fairly similar. Great. Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mark out 200, which is there and then I'm going to grab the tri square and make sure it's square and then I'm going to maybe mark it again round here and then we can get the bench hook and put it on the bench so it's nice and stable put the block of wood there and then get the tenon saw you can even use the coping saw for this and then just start making our cut and just make sure you keep it vertical and you can start with your finger on the edge of the blade and then slowly go along. So you've got a template here but the actual design is over here and the template is so we can cut it out and stick it onto a block of wood and then cut it out on the block of wood. Anyway, um, so First, I'm going to grab the scissors and I'm going to cut it out. This is to scale. Okay, so as you can see, I've stuck the template on. I've just 
stuck it on with a glue stick. And now what we've got to do is mark out on the wood here, this bit, which is the bit we're going to cut out with the coping saw. And I'm just marking it out to make it a little easier to see on camera. But this part isn't necessary. There we go. And then to get these wheels or the holes at the same height, you can have your middle finger against the wood and then hold the pencil and just skim a line along like that. Oh, very clever. And then that is horizontal, assuming that this is straight. So then we can maybe put an X there. Or... Okay, so I've marked the parallel line along here. And that's where we're going to put our wheels, on that line. And I'm just going to make a little X round about there. So when you line the wheels up, just about level with the top there. Ah, neat. So for this next step, we can cut one of these corners off with the coping saw. And we can do that in the vise. So get it nice and deep down in the vise so it doesn't vibrate. And then with the coping saw, go from either angle and make sure you keep it horizontal or level. And then just start nice and slowly. So for this next part, I'm going to be using the tenon saw to cut out this groove. And I'm just going to put a rough line there. So I don't have to worry about that curve because we can file or cut that. And actually we can put this in the bench hook, get our tenon saw and line it up with the line. So for the older viewers, you'll be able to use this bandsaw, but for the younger viewers, maybe under the age of 15, you won't be able to use these, especially in schools. So when using one, you've just got to be very careful and don't put your hand in front of the blade and always wear eye protection. So, oh, and also make sure if you are slightly younger, you're closely supervised by an adult and make sure the guard is almost all the way down. And as you can see, there's a very small gap there. <laughs> Most of you won't have a band saw, you can just cut it with a tenon saw, just like that. So for getting that bit of centre out, there's two ways you can do that. You can do it with a chisel and a mallet, although my preferred way is getting a coping saw and going down those tenon saw marks and then slowly carving our way in and cutting a curve. And there we go, the centre comes out. Okay, so I've just started this cut and it's the same process. Just to cut the curve. And when you're cutting, you've got to make sure you do it nice and slowly and just don't go like that, otherwise the blade will jam. How's it going, Jake? Okay, so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to drill these holes first before we cut this part here. And why is that? Side. Why are we going to drill the holes first? Because we won't have the template. No, true. I think also, if you try and drill it with that cut off... Yeah, it's not as square, so... It's going to move when you drill it, yeah. isn't it? So, yeah, I think that's a really good intelligent point okay then so you can use a pillar drill but in our case we're using a hand drill just because it's what most of you are going to have and a pillar drill for those that don't know is um one of those 
Da -da. I'm gonna do that handy uh, filming well, technique like that, Jay. <laughs> yeah. Like that, don't you? So as you can see, I've marked it up there and there. All right, let's have a look. And that's that. where we're gonna drill. Great. Nice and, and make sure it's nice and vertical. How do you know it's vertical? Uh, to be honest, I've just done it by eye. I wonder if we could put a tri square. You probably that could. Sort of help. Give you an idea, wouldn't it? Something like sort that. Of there. Yeah. Things so that younger viewers that might help. Okay, off you go. I meant to ask, what go. size hole is that? Uh, this is, I think, a six mil drill bit, and we're going to be using a five mil dowel. Yeah, so it's slightly loose. I okay, don't Yes. So the diameter six millimeter. Mm -hmm. How do you know it's six millimeter? Uh, because on the drill bit, mm -hmm. sometimes it says there. I don't know if you can see that on camera. Maybe uh, not. Turn it slightly. Oh, it's really hard to see. Right I there. can see a mark. Yeah. Well, it either okay. says it on the drill bit. Or um, you can measure it with calipers, ruler, anything really. Oh, just show the viewers how you put that drill in, because... Okay, so grab the drill bit, yeah. use your index finger and your thumb, and you slot it in, and then you use the rest of your fingers to hold the chuck, and slowly put it in. Clockwise. And, yeah. yeah. Okay. Next hole. I presume what some people don't know what clockwise is. Uh, clockwise is the way the clock goes round. Yeah. If you've got a digital clock, then. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's a little harder to explain. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I hope that was um, vertical. I think it was. Right, okay, we're coming back. To drill out these, well, cut out these little rebates here, like this here. What I'm doing is, I'm measuring the size of the wheel, so in this case it's about 1 centimetre or 10 millimetres. What's a rebate, sorry? A rebate is like a, a bit of wood oh, cut out, yes. so it's this bit here, Yes. and uh, I've marked that out, so the wheel will stick out a couple of millimetres, and it's about 9 or 8 mil. And I use that same technique to then just go all the way along like that. And that diagonal part is just for a bit of style points where the wheel will go. Oh, and actually, we may need to mark that out again. Trying to mark it slightly back. Yes. So, I think I'll mark it about there. And I'll use the ruler. There we go. Nice straight Check line. it again. And yeah, yeah, that's probably about right. Oh, this would be quite interesting to see how this turns out. So next is... Next is to... Work, is it? Yeah, cut this. And this is going to be a little hard in the um, bench hook. So we're going to maybe make some sort of jig that can hold it at an angle like that. Or you can try and cut it like that. Around, yeah, just... It's not going to be the easiest. And when you're cutting, make sure you only go to that line there. So I'll actually extend that. Don't want to be making a mistake. There we go. So these are the rebates for the wheel. Yeah. 